I spent over $100,000 building this new reptile facility. Let's go check out what that money got us. All right, so one of the reasons that we got this property so big is because we wanted to have a lot of animals outside. And this is one of the big enclosures we built for our pair of rhino iguanas. As you can see, th those guys are jerks, but it's okay, we still love them. And that cage was about like $1,000 just to build with the price of materials these days. It's insane, it's only going up. Now over here, I had to clear all this section was filled with palm trees and we had to take them all down. We had to put the new sheds and just taking down the palm trees was about $2,500. Good boy right here is a male panther chameleon. And these guys love being outside. This is when they get their full color because they get that full spectrum lighting. These guys do absolutely fantastic out, out here in Florida. As you can see, strong boy, big boy. He actually has been breeding. So hopefully we'll have some baby chameleons in the near future also. We also invested in four of these extra large water and land tubs. Each one of these is $750 bare. Not with any of the construction we had to do, lids, animals inside, nothing. These guys are great turtle ponds. We have some fish in here right now. We're breeding some fish to feed some of our turtles, to feed some of our, like the maramaras, feed some of the monitors. But eventually there's gonna be br turtles breeding in each one of these tubs. This is another one of our huge enclosures we had to build for these guys here. This is a Cyclora. Cyclora Maximus Aurelius? No. <laughs> Lewisai hybrid iguanas. And there's a bunch of redfoots in here, but they're in their hide right now. And they're not super friendly, so I'm not gonna pet them either. All right, guys, and this is my most expensive and my most vicious animal I have gotten yet. And this is a wild girlfriend. <laughs> that we have here. Let me it's time to water her. <laughs> it's time to water you. <laughs> Throw some crickets in, or some roaches in there. <laughs> and this is our new office. Obviously, these sheds are not cheap, especially nowadays. Each one of these sheds costs about twenty to $25,000 just to basically to buy the shed and to get it insulated, AC, walls, floor, all that stuff. So it's not cheap, but I'll show you guys inside. This is what the office looks like now. This is where we work out of. This is where Daniela does all her orders. This is where we ship the animals out from. As you can see, we got all the boxes right here to ship animals to you guys. But the main thing that we wanna show you guys is in the other sheds. So let's go over there. So this is the new and improved gecko house. And before we used to have kind of like a gecko room. Now we upgraded to actually having a gecko house. So when I first got this place, this structure was actually already in place, but it wasn't, it was basically a shell. There was no floor, there was no walls, there was no AC, no water, nothing. So we had to build it from the ground up and it cost about $30,000 just to get the walls, the insulation, the floors, the AC, and the water up in here. But let's come in and let me show you the cool thing about this room. So with the move to this new facility, I wanted to make sure that the gecko house was, you know, had a brand new look. It looked cleaner, more consistent, you know, one enclosure, one tub for basically all the geckos. So, so we invested in all these racks and just to put all these racks up cost us about $7,000 to $8,000 to get all these racks up with the tubs. I also got a bunch of new geckos that I'm really excited about that I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna show you first one of these gargoyle geckos. It's super red. I called him Red Rage. And honestly, he is a badass gecko. So I wanted to show you guys what he looked like. And this is him. This is Red Rage. He is a badass gargoyle gecko from Great Lines. As you can see, he has some of that lateral striping of that red. He has a lot of red all over the top and the color of his red is super bright. So I'm excited to pass that down into his offspring and this is one gecko that you're gonna look forward to seeing what the babies look like. Just to give you a, a, a little sneak peek, this is one of his females as you can see also has some crazy red coloration and I'm really excited about this project. Now, Red Rage wasn't cheap. This is a gecko that I paid almost $6,000 for so make sure that you know you follow us on what this update is going to do because i'm really excited to start mixing that bloodline with our other bloodlines with pennywise dracula deadpool bloodlines and we're going to make some awesome gargoyle geckos now another gecko i'm really excited about is this crested gecko i got from my buddy cal at crypt house this is a, a sick gecko so this 
is a, by the way, this is um, one of my females that I have them paired up with. That's Blood Orchid. But this is the gecko I picked up from Kyle. And this is an extreme Harlequin white wall, just pinstripe goodness. Look how awesome this gecko is. Has so much cream, so much coloration. This is really one ex gecko I'm really excited about. I'm excited to have some of his, uh, uh, some of Kyle's blood in our collection because he produces some amazing geckos. So check him out, man. This is a gecko I'm really excited about. Can't stop saying that, but now let's go on to the next shed. So now let me show you guys the Blue Tongue Skink Room shed. shed. Here's where we keep all of our Blue Tongue Skinks. We also sometimes keep some miscellaneous stuff like some big snakes in here as well. Let me show you guys actually one of the coolest new additions we have. This is what, it was sold to us as an albino Maruki blue tongue skink. Um, I kind of have my doubts. I think it's a hypo just because of the tongue and the eye coloration is a little different from like other albino blue tongues, but still super neat, super excited to work with this. This, this guy costs $5,000. So another expensive animal, but hopefully we make some very, very cool animals with him. Like just to show you guys an example of what I want to do with him. I have a couple of these like really orange, reddish Marukis. Hoping to mix that with that hypo albino and make some even nicer animals. Mm -hmm. These are some of our holdback northern blue tongue skinks that we have right now in the hand. This is going to be a high white animal. It's something that I was really excited for when the pairing came through. And right here, this guy's actually starting to go through a shed so he's not as bright as normal. But that's like a red northern. That's how kind of they look when they're young. They're like oranges and as they get older, he's just going to pick up more reds and more reds and more reds. And this is our tool shed, and that was about $10,000. All right, so this is what we call our miscellaneous shed. This middle shed, we basically keep all of the animals that are kind of miscellaneous. So not blue tongues, not geckos, but just like everything in between. After you guys. So here, again, this shed we have to build, bring from the ground up. We had a lot of stuff to put in here, and we bought these new enclosures, so... How, how much do we, we pay like $200 each? For each, yep. Um, and obviously there's a lot of new animals in here that we did want to show you. One of the most exciting projects I have that we haven't really spoke about too much are these Cuban anoles. They're the Blue Beauty anoles, also known as the Anolis Equestrius Portior. When they grow up, they become like bright blues and yellows and they're like the craziest lizard you've ever seen. Believe it or not, this pair right here is $5,000 and I got two of these. I got this baby pair here and I got another pair over there I'm gonna show you guys. We actually did a video with these guys when we went to Ron St. Pierre's place and you can see how the adults look. And I'm gonna grab one just so you can see how cool these guys are. This one already has pretty good color. You can see that head is gonna start to turn blue, the yellow seeping through, and just that bright green coloration that this one has. This is one of the, my most, you know, exciting projects that's coming up and I can't wait to breed these guys. And then this over here is my other pair. These guys are, are a little bit bigger with that wild anole right here that we got snuck in here and it's, look how big that thing is. This thing's like eating all the crickets. So these are the bigger ones. They're very skittish. Hold on. Oh shit, all right. <sighs> this is not the best spot, but all right. I just wanted to show you guys a bigger one. This one also has mean little bite, but it has its its color is developing really nicely as well. You can see those yellow bands, that blue head, and those bright green colors. They're just gonna get better and better from here on out. At this size, they actually look like just regular old Cuban anoles that you see in Florida, but they're far from it. They're a subspecies and they are colored like you wouldn't believe. So let me put this guy back as you will. Oh man, I'm, see if Let's I'm see fast if enough. Cause out, these bro. guys, these guys, as soon as they sense danger, like just like that in the cork. So this is a Gurnia depressa. Yeah, the pygmies finding tail skinks. Pygmy. This pair of these guys as babies cost $4,000 in the United States right now. These guys are very rare, very cool, very small little lizard. Only get about six inches, right? This is lizard wrangling. Boom. 
Here I have a full grown female Agernia depressa. Super small, like I was telling you. Super shy little lizards. These guys are actually strictly monogamous. They only want to live in pairs when there's an extra male, extra female. Too. Oh, wow, you found one. Oh, that's the third that's one. The other one. Yeah, so these guys were a babies of three. So, like I said, that one got bullied out because the extra sex, they get bullied out by these guys. Super cool little Australian lizard. Very rare. This is one of my favorite snakes in the whole house, not only because I think it's the most beautiful snake in the world, but these guys actually come from my country. They come from all over South America, the Amazon. But one of the popular places that they are found in is Peru. These guys are actually notorious for being very, very nasty snakes, and they have some of the nastiest teeth in the animal kingdom. Let's see if uh, I get bit or not. What's up, buddy? Oh, sorry. Come on. He ain't gonna bite no, you. he's not. He's actually, he or she's actually very good. They them. they, them. We've been working with this one since he was little. And as you can see, it's pretty good. For people who know about emerald tree boas, they're, na they're nasty snakes, especially like adult wild caught ones. But this one's pretty nice. Um, maybe, we don't know. <laughs> very tame, always been pretty chill. Always been able to take him out, working with him. I can't wait till this is a five foot. I like know. Right I kind of want him to open his mouth just to show you guys his gnarly teeth. I'm glad he didn't get too like, like no. you know. I hate the way they look at you sometimes. Yeah. All right, and of course, this is one of our Asian water monitors. This is a black dragon. These guys are not cheap. This guy was about $2,300. And oh man, he's gonna be a huge lizard one day. He is actually pretty good. He was. He, he was pretty crazy when I first got him, but now he is pretty chill. And I also have Chowder, everybody's favorite Asian water monitor. Come on, Chowder. Oh, chill. So, <laughs> yeah, he's hot. hungry. Yeah, they're hungry. It's feeding day today for them, so they're definitely hungry. I'm not gonna mess with them too much, but this is Chowder, and he wasn't cheap either. Building a business is not easy. As you can see, it's very expensive. If you want to support us, the best way to do it is buying an animal or a t-shirt or any of our products. We pride ourselves in our customer service and in the quality of our animals. So please check out our website. Let us know if you have any questions and... Till next time, guys, we love you. Thank you guys for all the support. Without you, none of this would have been possible. So thank you guys.